Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I will be taking an old Sears pull-behind engine-driven tiller and modifying it into a Cat Zero three-point hitch mounted tiller. Check this out. I begin by making new linkages that will attach to the tiller. I'm making these uh, connection points out of 3 8 inch mild steel that I cut off of another scrap piece of equipment sitting in my scrapyard. Now I'm cutting that hole I drilled in half so it can fit around the round piece of uh, stock that's already on the tiller. And here I am tacking it into place, uh, making sure everything is aligned with the three-point lift arms. Important note, you can't see it, but I have all the fuel tanks covered with a fiberglass fireproof material. Now before I finish welding, I just want to check and double check, make sure all, everything is aligned just how I want it. I'm removing my hydraulic lift cart that was helped supporting it in place. And now uh, after a few adjustments, I'm going to lift it up and down, make sure it operates like I like it to. And now I'm tightening in uh, the lift pins. Important to note, these are category zero lift pins, so they are five eighths of an inch in diameter. The distance between the lift arms should be 20 inches for category zero. Now that everything's confirmed good, I am going to weld this piece of steel with three passes on both sides of each lift arm. This uh, bracket that I'm welding on is three eighths of an inch mild steel and this is what the welds look like uh, when I'm finished. They'll be plenty strong to hold everything in place uh, during all the rigorous activity that the tiller has. Now I'm about to replace the original uh, medium flow jet carburetor made by Briggs & Stratton on this engine and replace it with our iSave Tractors medium flow jet carburetor. To remove the carburetor you just remove these two uh, quarter inch by 20 screws that holds it to the bottom of that manifold. After you remove those two screws, there's a little mounting bolt on the bottom that holds that air filter elbow in. You just undo that. And then after the two quarter inch screws are gone, you should be able to remove it and remove the linkages and that's it. This is the new iSave Tractor branded uh, carburetor. These are great. We sell these directly on our website at iSaveTractors.com. It's a very simple procedure. You just put those quarter by 20 bolts back in. You mount the air elbow back in. You reattach the linkages, and you're good to go. These carburetors are pre-adjusted by us before we ship them to you, so you don't need to do anything to them. And there you have it. There's the engine and the tiller in action. As you can see, it's running and operating great. Let me turn on the tiller tine so you can see that going. There's a little clutch over here. When you pull that, the tiller starts moving. For high quality aftermarket parts for your vintage small engine, such as the Briggs and Stratton engine that's operating this tiller, uh, please check out our website, isavetractors.com. We develop and sell high quality aftermarket parts for all of your old small engines like this Briggs & Stratton engine, the old Kohler K-Series, Magnum Series, KT Twin Series, the old Tecumseh HH engines, Wisconsin engines, and Onan engines. My name is Norman. Thank you for watching.